everyone, welcome back. This week I get a chance to play with my extruder. I'm so excited. I had really so much fun. It's been years. Uh, but also I need to make an announcement to you about the Hobby Potter weekly videos and how this will be the last one. I know. I won't leave anything hanging, uh, but I am going to be making videos in a different way. I'll share more about that at the end, but hope you guys enjoy today's extruder video. It's not like I don't have other things that I can do on my shelf, but I'm really in the mood to do something different. Um, this is what I really wanted to tackle. It has been forever since I've used my extruder, and I got this off of eBay. See how long it's been? Oh, I need to clean this out. I loaded this sponge up with water. But I think I'm gonna, it's gonna rinse it. Oh yeah, it is, good. Wow, look at all this. You know, when you haven't used something in a while, you feel like you're babe in a candy store, if you will. <laughs> See, I have all kinds of circles. I actually have, I can extrude coils. I got round ones. I can do it solid if I wanted to, or I can do it where they come out hollow. You know, that is something you put over. Okay, you put it over the one and so it blocks out the others when you have it in the extruder. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Wow, it's really nice to re-explore these. Oh, I like that shape a lot. I just thought it would be kind of interesting to show you how I put this together. There's a washer and a bolt for each side. I've never used the square one, so I'm just a little bit excited about that. on both sides. I just remember I gotta make this really tight because it oozes out the side if I don't make this tight enough.
I want to make some white slip and I'm just going to grab some of this stuff and use that. I just made up this slip, you saw me do that, and I'm going to take these, they're leather hard, and I'm going to dip them in the slip. That was too fun. Here's my extruder project. Everything right here is kind of dry to the touch. It's leather hard. I can carve in it still. I mean, I just did these a few seconds ago, which brings me to uh, the this being the last video for Hobby Potter Weekly. Over the past eight years, I have been making videos in real time. I have been making them as I go, literally. This is Monday and I just carved this today and I'm making this intro exit video. I'll put it in edit it. I'll be up probably till one o'clock in the morning. I'll publish it to YouTube and you guys will get to see it on Tuesday. That's how I've been doing my videos and I call it real time. Well, daily, on a daily basis, I get people messaging me about past videos, five, seven, three, two, whatever, years ago saying, they're frustrated because I don't show a, a beginning to end in my videos. So what I'd like to do is make it more friendly to you, the viewer who gets to watch. Uh, it's physically impossible to finish this in a week. There's no way you can do it. You can't dry this in a week, biscuit once, glaze it, then fire it. It's too large. It would crack. It wouldn't make it. So in ceramics, you can't see that in a real time basis. So what I'm going to do is I'll start producing videos as things are complete and I'll share a beginning to end so that it makes it more user friendly for you guys. Um, I really enjoyed doing project videos, the 30 bowls, 30 days, 30 techniques. That was probably my favorite aside from the 365 cups. People would probably rather see a project from beginning to end in a video. So that's how I'll be playing it in the future. I won't leave anything unfinished. I have that teapots, I have these, I have um, the chimes for the Artist Open Studio Tour. I have things to show you from beginning to end. I also have bucket list items I'm going to do and I'll share those when those happen. I have one coming up in May. I'm going to go visit a clay making company and she's going to give me a tour and so I'll share that in a video as well. I'm also going to do some raku during the summer which I cannot wait to share that with you as well. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry that there won't be any more weekly videos on Tuesday but uh, they'll pop up when I finish them, if you know what I mean. It could be actually more than one per week, but I'm just going to do it uh, so that I find joy in what I'm doing and that you guys hopefully will find joy in the videos I'm making. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you sharing the love, and we'll see you guys next time.